Today we are going to Alison Romanize my Buya best recipe and turn it into my weekday staple, also known as the card stew. If you know who I am, I am sure you know who Alison Roman is. But just in case, she's the food writer for the New York Times who has a way of making food accessible, pretty, and fun. If Mark Bittman's and Nigella Lawson's avatars had a baby in some virtual culinary universe, it would be Alison Roman. So, about the cuts too. I love my boy best recipe, but even I don't make it every week. You have to find a fishmonger who is good at filleting fish. You have to make stock, you have to dirty a bunch of dishes. It's a project. <laughs> so I stripped out everything labor intensive or difficult to buy, but I kept all the best parts fennel, saffron, tomatoes, garlic, and wine. This too will instantly transport you to the Mediterranean coast and it will be ready in 45 minutes. If I was Rachel Ray, I'd say 30 minutes, but who are we kidding? The vegetables don't wash and chop themselves, you know. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Crumble up a large pinch of saffron in a small cup. Add a splash of dry white wine, stir and set aside. This will help the saffron release its aroma. Cut a fennel bulb in half. Remove the core, cut it in half crosswise, and then slice lengthwise. Go slow. Fennel layers are uneven and have a tendency to shift. Set a large skillet of a medium heat. Add three tablespoons of olive oil. When the oil starts to shimmer, add the fennel, a generous pinch of salt. Stir and leave it alone until it starts to brown, about three to five minutes. Meanwhile, peel about a pound and a half of Yukon gold potatoes. Cut them in half and slice into half inch half circles or whatever shape you want. Put the potatoes into a pot with water, cover, and set over high heat. Let's see how our fennel is doing. It's starting to brown and needs a stir. While it's browning, let's slice two garlic cloves. If knife skills ain't your thing, just use a garlic press. It's all good as long as your garlic doesn't come from a jar. Keep cooking your fennel until it's very brown. This will give you stew that amazing depth of flavor, so don't rush and add the other ingredients. Regulate the heat so that the fennel is browning steadily, but not burning. Oh, by the way, in case you can't get fennel, just use yellow onions. It's been about 12 minutes and it looks good. Let's add the garlic. One and a half cups of canned chopped tomatoes. Mine are unsalted, so I'll give them a pinch of salt. A bay leaf. Half a cup of dry white wine and the saffron wine mixture. There are always a few threads left over in the cup, so rinse it out with more wine or water and add to the pan. Let's reduce this sauce gently on low heat until our potatoes are done. They just came to a simmer, so let's uncover them and season very generously with salt. Potatoes love salt. The water should taste like the sea, not like a dish you'd be willing to eat. We'll check on them in 18 minutes. Meanwhile, let's prepare the fish. Today I'm using cod. Since it's so thick, I'll cut it into half-inch pieces. Diagonal looks nice, but doesn't taste any better, so do whatever you want. Any white fish works here. Haddock, hake, monkfish, bronzino, orata, red snapper. If your fish has a skin, remove it either before or after cooking. It wouldn't get crispy in this preparation and would just taste yucky. You can also use shrimp or hot smoked trout. Another option is to take this dish in a completely different direction and add some grilled chicken or sausage or cooked lentils or beans or whatever protein leftovers you're trying to get rid of. Sprinkle the fish with salt on both sides and set aside. If you do the salting step the night before, it will taste even better. Obviously, keep it in the fridge. Our stew has reduced nicely. Let's see how the potatoes are doing. Good, they are tender and we can add them to the stew. Mix it all up and taste for salt. This is your chance to correct that, so don't blow it. <laughs> Spread out everything in an even layer and arrange the fish on top. Add a tiny piece of butter on top of each piece. 
the olive oil works too, of course. A bit of freshly ground pepper, cover, and cook on low heat for 7 to 10 minutes. Keeping the fish on top will cook it very slowly and gently. At 7 minutes, there was no suggestion of flakiness yet, so I gave it another 2 minutes and then it was done. Take off heat, uncover and let rest for 5 minutes. If I didn't need a pretty picture, I'd mix it all up. That's how I like to eat it. Ok, let's get the prettiness over with. A little sprinkle of chives and a drizzle of olive oil so that we can watch it drip in slow motion. Haha, <laughs> now I get to destroy it and eat it my way. I want that fish slathered with the sauce and I want every bite to have all the elements. Fennel, potatoes, tomatoes and fish. I hope you give this humble stew a try. I'd love to know what interesting twists you come up with. Here are more thought-provoking culinary videos for you to check out. And if you are ever in the Boston area, maybe I'll see you in one of my classes.